we are talking about a gold and loot farm that you can do as a hunter that's going to give you a big advantage and you're going to be selling some awesome BOEs on the auction house and making a ton of gold in the process. Now, where are we going? We're going to Razorfen Crawl. Razorfen Crawl has a bunch of good items for hunter that can drop. You're going to be finding greens here from the trash mobs. You're going to be finding a couple blues that are really nice. This starless piece is going to be able to sell for a couple gold every time you find it. I found this way more often than the thieves mantle, but the thieves mantle is the shining piece that we definitely want to have on our hunter. Or you can sell in the auction house for a fee, a pretty fee, because this thing is best in slot for hunters. And I imagine it's just as good for rogues as well, if I had to guess. Now, uh, the thing about this farm is that you can't go all the way through the dungeon. Going into RFK, there's going to be a couple of sketchy pulls, and we're going to avoid those on the, the route that I'm describing to you. The pets you might want to bring here, I brought something defensive like a bear who also has rank four bite, rank four claw. Bears are nice. They hold aggro. They do a decent amount of damage, and they're very hardy. And I am going Beast Mastery spec here because that thing is the only thing standing between you and the front line. So you definitely want to buff that bear up. For runes, I'm taking Kill Command, Cobra Strikes and Beast Mastery. These three things are gonna keep you alive while you're farming. This is my spec right here. You wanna work your way through, fight up to the main path, you're gonna turn right. You're gonna fight all the mobs up until you get to the three mob pull. The three mob pull is at the far end. It's gonna be two soldiers and then one of the casters. You can't, there's no way. I, I mean, maybe there's a way. If you can do it, <laughs> let me know. But I have not found a way to kill this safely without wasting a ton of time kiting and I would have been better off just resetting the instance. So clear all the way up to there. Then wrap back over. Then you can wrap back and turn left at that first fork and go ahead and fight to the double guard pull. Once there's two guards standing in front of the vine, you're gonna wrap back again. Then you're gonna descend the vine and you can fight your mobs over here. You can go as far as you want through this path. And eventually you're gonna run to the end of that and then you're gonna walk out of the instance, reset, and then you can go ahead and do it again. You can do this as many times as you want. I found that I'm not able to complete it fast enough that I run into the reset dungeon cap. So you can just keep resetting and doing the trash pulls. Now, the reason why I'm not too concerned about going farther in the instance and killing all the bosses and stuff like that is that we are level 25. So these, the higher level drops, we can't even equip. So, and I've heard other players, I've heard other players say that they're not able to even get this to drop. They've done this several times and they've even fought farther than I've gone and they don't, and it's just not dropping. So I wouldn't waste your time with that. I would focus on just fighting trash and try to get the zone drops. All it takes is for one of those to drop and Thieves Mantle, I haven't even seen it on the auction house. So I don't even know how much it's gonna be going for when it does drop. This is the big one. Now, as an honorable mention, this is just another idea. If you wanna farm out in the world, you wanna have a whole group with you, you can also try to farm Humbert's Helm. Now, Humbert's Helm is the pre-raid bis green headpiece that you can find in Hillsbrad Foothills. You have to farm these elite mobs, the elite riflemen that are over to the way east part of Hillsbrad Foothills. Now I do warn you though, there's a bunch of people farming this. The gold farms that have done best for me have been the ones in instances. So I've just completely avoided this one. I don't even have Humbert's Helm. I wish I did, but it's, it's just not worth my time to fight with other groups of five just farming these things. So I'm out when it comes to that one, but it's there if you want to do it. Um, but also another really good farm is going to be Wailing Caverns. If you want to go to Wailing Caverns, if you're not comfortable with fighting mobs that are that high level in RFK, then you can go to Wailing Caverns. Wailing Caverns is a very simple farm. And if you are a skinner, you're going to be making bank every time you go through here. So you just you can clear the instance all the way up to the final boss. Well, I should say second to final boss because you can't fight the shambler that's way at the top of, of Wailing Caverns. Go ahead and try. If you figure out a way, awesome, let me know. But I have not been able to solo that guy. So I've just reset the dungeon after I get finished with Pythus. So kill Pythus, go out, reset. Make sure you're skinning everything because there's a lot, there's a lot of hide and leather that you can get out of there. That's just gonna add to the bank run. Your bags will probably be full, but it's a quick flight back to Orgrimmar to post everything up on the auction house and sell all of the trash.
All right, everyone, and those are the gold farms that I've found that are really effective, really nice to do. So go ahead and take a look and see which ones work best for you. And hunters, we've been hit with nerfs a lot recently. If you're wondering what pet you should be using, take a look in the description. I have a pet guide there that talks all about pets, which ones we should be using for which specs and which situations, and how you can power level it to make sure that it's level 25 before you head into the raid. All right, everyone, if the video did help you out today, please rogue strike that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please back to subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.